everyone, Jessica here from Paper Ink Stamp and welcome back to another card making video. So for today's video we're going to be taking another look at Simply Cards and Paper Craft. This is issue 210 and we've got this really beautiful Alter New Bells and Bows set. Um, so today we're going to be making a slightly different kind of card. So I found a pre-made card in my Nan's uh, craft stash. It, the paper isn't quite white, it's almost like a ivory um, pearlescent, it, it's not totally ivory but it is sort of an off-white colour um but it's sort of like a I don't really know what you'd call it a tenfold uh stepper card maybe so the sort of middle section uh will sit back from the front of the card it's, it's actually a really beautiful card I don't tend to um buy sort of concept card blanks um, and it's sort of very often that I actually make different style cards but I thought for today we'd make a big one I think this is folded as this 8 by 8 inch um, and I just thought it'd be really nice to do something a little bit different so I've just started by folding the card up and I'm just reinforcing those crease lines. This will be easier then when we come to decorate it and uh, put our embellishments and things on it if it's just um, a little bit more sort of a sturdy. But that's kind of the, the card um, look. And again, I just think it's a really nice sort of different kind of card. So let's get started looking at sort of decorating it and what we're going to do with it. So I decided to pick some of the papers from the previous issue of Simply Cards and Paper Craft. So this came with a paper kit, an embossing folder, stamps and dies. So it was a really great um, set. And I really wanted to use some more of the papers from this set. So I'm going to use this top one here. Um, and what I'm going to do is just cut this down as a sort of, you know, a mat and layer for our card. I think it works really nice with the colour of the card. Um, so I just kind of worked out what size I needed, cut the middle section out and then just trimmed that middle bit down again. And that then went to the back square of the card. There was another piece. So when I came to sort of finish um, the design of the card, because of the colours that I chose, I really wish I had either used the green Christmas tree paper that came in with this free magazine, or I wish that I had done my leaves in different colours. So I do use a lot of the stamps that's included in this um, alter new stamp set. But I just kind of felt like if I'd used the green papers, it might have gone just a little bit better. But I'm so happy with the overall card. So I'm just um, popping this down at first, just so obviously when I come to um, adding my stamped images and things, you know, we really get an idea of where these um, sort of pieces are going to go. So that is it really decorated as much as the paper is going to be. Um, so now let's get started with stamping our images. So I have already done a previous video showing you how to use these alternate layering stamps. Uh, so I will pop a link in the corner to that particular video. So I'm just going to do things just a little bit different. So my idea for this card was I wanted to have these baubles kind of hanging down. And originally I wanted to have the foliage kind of hanging behind it. But then by the time I came to actually uh, sort of putting these images on the card itself, I didn't think it really went that well. But I'm happy with how the images came out. So I am using my prism ink pads, as you can see here. So I've used the... Uh, jersey cream that's the yellow I've used the mauve and this one is the pink jelly bean so these are my bases so you want to make sure that you use the lightest color as your base then when you move into adding your layering stamps they need to be in darker colors you can see that single bauble just off to the left hand side I did have a go at stamping with the distress mini cubes but I didn't really feel like I got a very good impression but I do think that these prism um ink pads work really really well so the colors that i've used for my layering so for the yellow this is the canary yellow i use the purple violet and i use then a dusty rose for uh the two pink ones on top uh, and i just i really love the way that these have come out it's not you know sort of a real smooth image um you know, to get that I think you need to stamp it a couple of times but I think if you with layering stamps if you start stamping over and over again to get a better colour I don't think that you get that really great uh, gradient in colour but I, I really love that the way these have come out and I probably do prefer using these present model colour ink pads uh, for this type of layering image. So now I'm just going to do the outlines. So in the last video where I used this set, um, I did sort of just you know show you how to do these. And I did do the outlines, 
but I actually thought if you're going to use the outlines I actually thought it was a lot easier to start with the outline and then to do your coloured uh, stamping inside for me that was just my preference but obviously I've done it the other way around here um, and I'm not using a black ink pad because I didn't want it to stand out sort of too much I'm using the slate grey uh, I do think you get a crisp image if you use a natural black ink pad so like the uh, memento or like the this fine ink um, but I wanted something just a little bit more subtle that's why I went for that slate grey so I'm also going to stamp our foliage as well. So what I'm doing is actually taking two colours, so two green colours. So here I've got olive green and apple green. Um, and I'm actually just using uh, one colour at one end and one at the other, meeting them in the middle. And I'm really just in that centre little uh, centre section where the two colours meet. I'm just overlapping them. So it gives just a really fun sort of gradient. So I really love how these came out. Um, but again, looking back at sort of the colours and the, the overall card, I do kind of wish I either, like I said, picked the green Christmas tree paper or maybe did this in different colours. Because you've got those really beautiful baubles, I think actually doing something a little bit different. Because one of the sentiments is sort of believe in magic. Or, um, I know there was magic in there. And I think maybe if you paired it with that sentiment, you know, it doesn't have to be super realistic. And I think doing this kind of gradient colour, and it's so easy, but I think it's really effective. So if you use different colours, so if I used, you know, um, purples and pinks, maybe that would kind of fit in a little bit more with the baubles and maybe with the uh, background paper just a little bit more. But overall, like I said before, I am really happy with the way that this card came out. So I'm just stamping quite a few of these. And I'm not sure at this time when I'm stamping this I wasn't sure really what I was going to use um like I said I wanted to have where I've got the dangling baubles I really wanted to have these um pieces dangling as well I wanted these to be kind of behind it but it didn't really kind of turn out that way so I ended up just using them elsewhere on the card but you can see that I've used the die the coordinating die to cut out all the baubles and I've just fussy cut out our foliage so we've got everything ready I've also created this panel piece uh, I think it's only about two centimeters and I kind of almost turn it into a bit of a bridge card where you have that piece that goes across and because I wanted to have the baubles hanging freely I wanted them to move that was kind of my idea um I had to then work that into this card and see the best way of doing it so I thought the easiest way would be to have a piece come across it um near the top somewhere I'm just using some white cotton if if I was to do this properly, if I was, if this was a card I was going to sell or I was giving to someone, um, I would do this a little bit differently. I would probably use maybe some um, see-through thread or something that maybe wasn't as obvious, or maybe even just try to use something a little bit more decorative and make um, something more sort of from it. Um, what I've done is I've cut a bunch of pieces. I've put the ends over this panel. So this panel is just made up of some gold. Uh, cardstock that I had I really wanted to just add a little bit of gold onto here and I've taken just a small strip of that purple snowflake background paper and just sort of laid it on top I put down a piece of double-sided tape so I'm not going to be removing the back so again if I was making this card properly to give to someone you know I would sort of give it all of these finishing touches because you will be able to see the double-sided tape from the back so all I've done is just pop some glue just on either end. You can see that I'm just leaving a really tiny gap just above that background piece. And that is then going to give the sort of hanging mechanisms for our baubles. So in the video itself, it might be a little bit difficult for you to kind of get the full effect. But I have got some pictures um, at the end of the video. Obviously, you can kind of see exactly how it is. So with the coordinating dies for the baubles, they've actually got a piece out of the top, obviously, where they would normally be. Uh, you know attached to some ribbon or something for you to put on your Christmas tree or on your wreath wherever so that actually cuts that piece out so I was able then to just feed this uh, feed the cotton through that hole and I was able then just to tie these on so I've done them at sort of different heights I have only done five even though I had six uh, baubles I've only included five just for space wise obviously um, I didn't want to have any sort of you know overlapping or anything like that but I'm just doing a just a small double knot you could if you wanted to hide this you do have the bow stamp and coordinating die so you could add those to it um just for some finishing touches um but you could really kind of you know dress this up a lot more and, and make it look sort of a lot more effective but like I said I was happy with the way that it looked 
So the one thing that I did notice when I had it stood up is that some of the baubles were um, showing the reverse side. So again, like I said, if I was making this properly, what I probably would have done is stamped two of separate pieces of these um, and then just glued them together, put the um, string or ribbon, whatever you're using, in between the two and sort of sandwiched it in. But what I've done here is I've actually just re-stamped the images just on the reverse side. So now it doesn't matter which side it shows because both are exactly the same. So we'll just say here, apologies for my head keeps coming in. I'm obviously just making sure to line this up. And I don't know why my hair always looks so frizzy when you can see it just popping into the frame like that. Um, but that's the bubble section all kind of um, done. So they will hang freely. If there's a little bit of a breeze, then it'll be really nice because they'll just move and it just adds something, um, just a little something extra special to the card itself. So all of this foliage, again, I wanted to have this hanging down from the middle section, but I'm actually just going to um, create sort of a section along the bottom and we're going to pop our sentiment on here as well um, in a little while. So I'm just using again some glue just to kind of layer these nicely on top of each other, kind of intertwining them. But what makes them stand out a little bit more is the fact we've done that gradient colouring on it. Uh, it just makes it a little bit different and it, when you look at it, it just sort of gives each section um, something a little different. So I did have some of the pieces hanging off the bottom, but when you stand this card up, it's not going to stand um, sort of stand flush as it should. So I'm just going to trim those bottom sections off. But of course, having pieces come off the side of the card really isn't a problem. And again, here a little bit, you can see just how these are going to sort of dangle and be quite nice in the frame. So now let's take a look at our sentiment. So as I said in the previous video where we looked at this magazine of free gift, the sentiments in here I do really love. I think they're really beautiful and I love the fonts. Um, the sentiment we're going to be picking for this card, this is uh, Christmas Memories. And what I wanted to do, because of the gradient that we had with those leaves, that bit of foliage, I wanted to do the same kind of thing with our sentiment. So you can see here that I am just stamping one sort of section at a time. And as we're coming from right to left, it's getting darker. So on the left hand side, uh, sorry, on the right hand side, the first colour we stamped is the lightest, and that was the olive green. Then the middle section, that was rainforest green and this very end this is the evergreen color and again on those sections where you're gonna overlap uh, I was just sort of going back and forth just so there wasn't a definite line you really want it to kind of blend in and you can see here just how sort of beautiful that is I really love doing this with sentiments but again as I've already said because then that matched the leaves I, I was looking at it and really really wish that I picked that green paper instead but all I did then was I cut the paper at a little bit of an angle just to give it a little bit of interest. And I just matte and laid it on that same gold glitter card that I used for that top section. Um, so if I'd known I was going to use that for that sort of bridge piece on the top, you know, I could have matte and layered um, our paper onto that gold as well. But like I said, I'm really happy with the way that this card has come out. So it was nice to do something a little bit different and sort of work out other ways of using, you know, these free gifts. Because you know, you get these magazines, we get these free gifts, you want to sort of be able to do sort of as much as possible with them. And hopefully these videos where I do show you the magazines and the free gifts, it just gives you a little bit of inspiration on what you can do. So just one other finishing touch, touch that I added was this bold, bold, this gold um, ribbon that I put across that panel piece at the top. And I just added a really beautiful bow to it as well. And just let that hang down. I thought that sort of finished it really nicely. But hopefully you can really see these baubles hanging down. Um, and it, again, it's just something a little different using up a free gift from a previous magazine as well. Um, and just a really different kind of card. So that's it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you do like this uh, card, please give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please do so so you don't miss out on any future videos. Thanks very much for watching and happy crafting.